Hello everyone, welcome to FX021. This is part one of the Houdini particle project. In this chapter, we will go through the basic of Houdini's UI and navigation so that you get familiar with it. If you already know the basics, you can jump to part two, where I will be talking about basic SOPs and particle systems. So let's get started. When you first open Houdini, it will look like this. There are three main areas where we will be used very often. The viewport, the parameter panel, and the node graph. And if you have any experience using 3D software like Maya or Blender, they are actually very similar. So this is the viewport, where you can visualize your result, and you can navigate the viewport by selecting the camera icon here, and uh, by rotate around, you can hold your left mouse button to rotate around. And if you want to pan around, you can hold your middle mouse button to pan around. And you can use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in, zoom out. So let's see, say you want to create a sphere. So this is your node graph here. So you can go to the shelf tool at the top and click the icon and you can hit enter to create sphere at the origin and you can see the node graph creates a sphere object and you can double click to dive inside the sphere object and this is the sphere geometry there are different ways you can create a in Houdini the normal way is uh, you can go to the node graph, hover your mouse on the node graph and hit tab and type sphere and hit enter and then it creates a sphere. Let's delete this one and you can double click inside it. Someone might be confused like why they are one sphere inside another so you can jump out of this level by hitting the object level icon here so you can think of this as a container it doesn't do anything just a container like a folder and inside this folder it's uh, it's the actual geometry let me show you an example here so the one we see here, Sphere 1, we can call it Geo. And it's very similar to this one. So the desktop is our object level here. And the desktop, there is a folder called Geo, which is our uh, folder that contains Sphere object. And inside Geo, you can see there is a Sphere object. And there are also a .NET which we can go inside and you notice that we are going inside geo.net and in Houdini you can see here it's the same thing it's like a folder structure folder path let's say we want to create a box we can hit tab and type box but we can't see the box inside the thing that's because of the flags. The blue means we are viewing this node. So we only see the sphere. So if you click the uh, blue eye on, icon on the box, you can see we can see the box. And the purple ones here means like the wireframe mode, which if you want to see a sphere in a wireframe mode, you can template see the sphere so you can see here is the sphere but what if we want to see both of them we can use a merge node and connect sphere to the merge and also the box to the merge node and we just put our eye, uh, flag on the merge node the eye now we can see both of them but the box is uh, inside of the sphere. So let's add a transform node. 
and put it after the uh, box node. And we want to transfer at the set axis, which you can see at the left corner. So uh, hover your mouse. This is uh, X, this is Y, this is Z. Just hover your mouse here and hit middle mouse button. And it will give you precision of how, how many units you want to move. Let's say move one units. Okay, let's move two units and you can see both box and sphere in the scene. We can check the wireframe mode by hovering our mouse on the viewport and hit W. Now you can see the wireframe of the geometry. And you can see that the sphere looks a little bit weird, doesn't look like a polygon. Because when you select a sphere, you can see the primitive primitive type uh, set to the primitive we want to change it to the polygon so now you can see we have like uh, enough uh, polygon to work with you can also change the frequency here to add more more polygons to it and we can hit W again to uh, to set back to the smooth shading mode and we want to add a mountain node on it to the sphere. So hit tab and type mountain. And we want to connect here. So I, you can see here, we connect mountain node here. It looks like a rock. And we can all change the height here. Element size and also like scale so the Houdini is very good at procedural stuff let's say uh, the sphere is the model you get and some for some time you update the model to like a, let's say a pick head and you just connect it to the mountain node again and it will apply all the effects the mountain node the merge node so you don't need to worry about the process and let's say you don't like the mountain node on the pick head you can just select the mountain node and hit this yellow icon you can disable the effects So this is the basics of Houdini and in next chapter we will be working on our particle project which will be releasing soon. I hope you like the video and don't forget to hit like button and subscribe to the channel. See you in next chapter.